Now, weather on the ones at 611 with Paul Caiano. They are racing World Cup bobsleds up in uh, Lake Placid for the next few days. Nice uh, winter-like feel out there yeah. with some Arctic cold heading in. So uh, even locally, but especially up in the mountains at Lake Placid, where it's going to be cold and uh, just like they like it. Yeah, and you makes for it. good sledding. <laughs> exactly. Hey, we're looking at a few flurries and scattered snow showers out there in spots, but mostly dry. I think uh, the bigger issue this morning, and it's not a widespread problem, but maybe a few areas of black ice with temperatures up above freezing yesterday, melting off a little of that snow, and now we're back down toward 32. A few flurries out toward Utica, a couple off toward Manchester and into the I-81 I-91 corridor in the Connecticut Valley. Flurries and scattered snow showers from Great Barrington down toward Copake and into Dutchess County, and a few moving through parts of the Catskills now. But I'm um, watching this band of snow. See the darker shade of blue here between Scranton down toward Allentown along the I-81 corridor south of Scranton. This is the beginnings of a band of snow which will be approaching the southern part of our area during the day today. Notice temperatures are hovering close to freezing in some cases as it's below, so some slick travel, a little bit of black ice in spots this morning, but no organized area of snowfall. Temperatures, for the most part, are in the 20s and 30s and right around normal, if not slightly above for this time of year. But today, I'm not expecting temperatures to climb that much. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we started to see temperatures sliding during the day from our morning temperatures in the lower to mid 30s back down into the 20s, especially in Greene County, especially in Columbia and Berkshire counties where we're going to start to see some light snow. That'll allow the temperature to pull back just a bit and that snow will add up a touch as we go through the afternoon hours. Now, it's not a big storm. In fact, it'll be gone by tonight. Temperatures in the teens and lower 20s and then only rebounding back to the middle and upper 20s tomorrow. So colder air certainly flowing in and so is the precipitation. You can see clouds have overspread the entire region and now we're seeing that snow breaking out in eastern parts of Pennsylvania down toward the mountains of uh, the Virginias here along this low pressure wave. And as the low works its way up to the mid-Atlantic coast, it'll slide south of Long Island. And on this track, the steadiest snow will stay south of Albany. I think we'll get a few flurries and some light snow showers right on up to the city, maybe the Twin Bridges. But you'll have to be in the Catskills, the mid and lower Hudson Valley, across into southern New England to see any accumulation today. North Country will be dry still, though, with plenty of clouds. Then behind Behind this system, we'll start to see that lake effect snow machine kick in, and I'm expecting a bunch of snow out in snowmobile country out here. But for the greater capital district, not much to talk about in terms of accumulating snow, but if you try driving the throughway southbound, we'll get into uh, dusting up to a couple of inches by Catskill and Hudson and points south, certainly towards Saugerties and Poughkeepsie. 32 today, 17 tonight as we dry it out. Tomorrow, that wind will pick up, and it'll be cold, especially when you factor in the wind. And Westerly breeze will uh, drive in some of those lake effect flurries and snow showers around tomorrow, but the steadiest and heaviest snow will be out in snowmobile country. 23, that's it for Thursday. Friday, 26, another storm heads our way with another chance of snow in this active weather pattern to start the weekend on Saturday, and that may even continue into a Sunday morning. So uh, lots of things to watch, and uh, the least of which is this system heading off to our south today, especially if some of our folks are heading down toward New York City. All right. All right. A lot of uh, best of lists are coming out now because we're wrapping up 2013. MTV has named their top artist of the year. You want to take a stab? Picasso. <laughs> you did say art. That's a good yeah, guess. That's true. That's good. <laughs> but it's not true. Uh, who? Macklemore and, and those guys? Yeah. Miley Cyrus? There you go. Justin Bieber. Yeah, no, it's not Miley Cyrus. That is the one time you haven't played the Miley Cyrus really? card in, like, in I weeks. I went for the wise guy. I didn't think it was going to actually be true. <laughs> and it's Miley Cyrus. Oh, you yep. MTV artist of the year. All right, you see what it gets. Thanks, Paul. You got it. <laughs> All right, there thanks. is joy uh, 